I'm hosting Accenture's first ever Girls in STEM event here in the CCD today where we're bringing over 500 girls and their teachers together for um, a day demystifying what an education and a career in STEM is all about. We have got a range of workshops um, from hackathons to science workshops, maths workshops to show sort of real life application, fun application of actually the STEM, how you apply STEM to, to problems, to what, what it could be like so they can actually understand and feel it and realise that they can do it. We also have great um, panel discussions, we've got some great role models to show them all it through a day so fun packed, lots of inspiration that hopefully will change their perception of what a career um, in STEM is like. Well globally we have about 900 clubs now in 63 countries and of um, the whole global reach we have about 33% of all attendees are girls which is great but it's definitely not good enough. Our aim is for all dojos to be 50-50 but we're, um, we're a long way from there but hopefully we'll get there soon. If you're a girl around 12, 13, 14, you've got a lot of other things that you're thinking about as well. Um, and stereotypically, you think of coding or you think of STEM and you automatically think, oh, that's very, that's boyish. It's going to be full of boys, which is really where Coded Dojo Girls came from. It was about creating safe spaces where girls would feel comfortable um, to build up their confidence with coding and then ultimately go back into the mixed dojos. Social media is incredibly engaging. It's incredibly interactive and it's also very instantaneous, which is unlike any other platform really that uh, the education education system has available to it. Well considering most people these days use techno or use social media and it's so interactive and everyone can see everything on social media so I feel that's it's the best way to get out of there considering it's the, the dominating media nowadays. It's killing TV, it's killing everything else so social media. But you gotta use use the following for a benefit to someone else so if you have it you might as well use it in a good way. Uh, we're trying to encourage more and more young people but certainly uh, young girls uh, to get involved in STEM, the science, technology, maths and engineering. I was said to the girls today that, that STEM is, at the kind of, is, is driving the future of this country. A lot, a lot of our companies who are, having, who are creating jobs and creating new ideas, new services, are, are employing people that have a STEM background. And we, we need to encourage more and more, uh, certainly female participation. We want to get a gender balance when it comes to the involvement in the STEM area, STEM careers. We get better decision making, we get better results when we have a gender balance and that's something we're trying to get across and everything we do, politics is my area, that's one area, but the, the involvement in STEM and to encourage young people to, to take up science now, to follow through with engineering, with maths, uh, with technology, they're using it everyday life but they don't realise it. But we're only one tenth of the way where we're going to go with technology and there's so much exciting developments ahead, they should be part of it and we need them part of it. And I think I've no doubt that today, because this is a great event here today, and they're getting, they're getting a taste of what's on offer, you will certainly get a lot more STEM graduates coming out today, and I've no doubt about that. Teachers and parents have a big influence, so they will also hear and get the feedback from today and understand the broader range of careers, of opportunity, that is there in the STEM area, because we know that up to 70% of jobs in the future will be STEM related. So if we don't get more girls participating in that, they're ruling themselves out of that opportunity. But also we risk having a society that isn't designed equally by men and women. So we want to really encourage them to, to feel that they can, they should be involved and that and change the stereotypes that are there.